Hello, my name is Rory O'Connor and you're joining Gold. Today we have Adam Lambert in the studio. How are you, Adam? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Now you've been all around London. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. What have you been up to since you've been here? I'm talking about my music and doing the rounds. It's really exciting. Um, I I released this song, Superpower, and it's playing on, on air, and I'm just excited that people are loving it. What's been the feedback so far? I, you know, I, I intended it to be written as, as an empowerment anthem, uh, but one that you could dance to and have a good time to. And I think that's what people are saying, that they love the, the message and and that they love the bass line and... and uh, yeah, and then they can't get it out of their head. <laughs> now, you're also here for a big announcement. You're going on tour with Queen for 16 dates. Yes. That's amazing. UK and Europe. We're very excited to come back. We've, you know, we've done these a lot of these cities before, but the Rhapsody tour that we're coming out with is a whole new production. Um, we just did uh, about seven weeks in the U.S., and people loved it. We were sold out everywhere. It was a huge success. It, it was wild, and, and, and I think partially due to the fact that the movie was such a big success, Success, we have a lot of new fans, a lot of new people that haven't seen us as a as a duo, you know, as a as a as a collaboration. They haven't seen us before, and there's all this interest in, in Queen music now, and we're seeing young people everywhere, and their parents, and their parents' parents. So we're really excited to bring this new show out here. And this is going to be your first European show since the film's come out. That's right. Do you think you're going to see a different kind of appreciation for Queen? I think yeah, I think that is what we're seeing. I think we're, we're it's it's um. It's interesting, too, because I think there's new fascination into Freddie uh, and, and who he was. And I think the movie did such a beautiful job at, at, at making people fall in love with him again. Is there anything new that you learned from the film? Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, I, I definitely learned more about... Um, Freddie's relationship with his manager, his his like uh, the manager that sort of that kind of pulled him a, away a little bit from from the the other the rest of the band, and that's a very interesting story. At the new year, you're going to be kicking off in South Korea. You're going through Japan. Yeah. It's going to be a massive year, 2000. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we, before we come over here, we're definitely going to uh, Australia, New Zealand, Asia. You got 17 dates in the book. Yeah, already. man. <laughs> it's and and that's the thing is, it's I, I I've said this before, but I get to kind of juggle working with Queen and then my solo career, which is kind of a dream come true. It's amazing because it's two very different sides of things, but they complement each other. I'd like to think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And with your new album, do you find there's been a few influences from touring with Queen? Yeah, you know, I think I think on this project, I definitely think it's a little bit closer to um, something that maybe a Queen fan would like to listen to. Um, it, there, there's a lot of sort of retro influences. Um, music from the 70s and 80s, um, early 80s particularly, was always being played in my house growing up. Um, my parents had a lot of vinyl and and I, I heard a lot of great music. And and I when I when I started working on this project, I thought to myself, okay, I want to do something different than what I have done. And I had to really search for a real inspiration, like a reference point. And I realized that the music that I was referring to was stuff that was it's sort of like in my 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 DNA because I grew up hearing it, so it wasn't something that I had to like try to do. It was it came so naturally because it's it, it's like the fabric of what I love about music and why I wanted to become a musician in the first place. Well, your latest single is such a stadium anthem. I think. Thank when you. you. Hear it. It sounds like you you would hear that in an arena or a stadium, and you'd hear all the fans cheering it. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to perform. I I definitely think that um, there's probably a little bit of an influence of bites the dust uh, in that song. There's it's it's like a third cousin to that song. You know, just in in the approach, having a a drum and bass groove, and then writing a song on top of it. And when you are performing with Queen next year, you're coming back to London and you're doing five dates at the O2 Arena, which is a huge venue. And then you're popping up to Manchester. Yeah, that's right. Are you going to get to perform any of your tracks off Velvet, or is it? I don't know yet. Queen? I'm not. We've we've definitely. Um, you know, the guys have been so kind in the past to perform a song of mine or two. Um, we've done What Do You Want From Me. We've done um, we've done a handful of them. Uh, we did a song called Lucy that was on my last album that Brian actually played guitar on. So, yeah, I think I th they're very open to it. So th we just have to decide which one. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be plenty to choose from. Yeah, it'll out. be a year. It's a year away, so uh, or less than a year away. So uh, I think there's going to be a lot of great songs. We'll see which one they love. And you performed over 200 gigs now with Queen. Is it still nerve-wracking? Is that how many it is? Over 200, I've oh, been Oh, wow. Told. Wow, yeah. You know, 
I, I, I don't get nervous anymore, except for when we're in a city where I have a lot of people, like close friends and family. Um, you know, like a big city. Like when we played LA, I was a little nervous because I got a lot of people out there that I knew personally. Yeah. Um, but it, it really is kind of in my body now. It's like muscle memory with them, which is great. And when you performed with them on American Idol, did you think it was just going to be a one-time thing or did you expect 200 gigs later you'd still be going with Queen? Um, you know, I if somebody had told me, um, by the way, in about 10 years' time, you're going to be fronting the band with them and traveling all over the world, I, I, I would have said that they were crazy. But I'm really glad, and maybe it was like a twist of fate, that I chose Bohemian Rhapsody as my audition song for the competition because if that hadn't been my choice, I don't know if they would have ever heard about me. I know, imagine if you'd chosen a random band. I know, <laughs> I know, it would have been crazy. What's it like being on the road with them? They're great. I mean, it feels like family at this point. You know, we've been working together for about eight years, and we know each other really well. It's a, And it's a good group of people. It's very tight-knit. It's There's an ease and comfortability that, that I, I, you know, I could only wish for. And we, you know, when we're on stage two, it's like a... We know what the other person's thinking. You can kind of read it's like a the band. Now. It's a real band. It feels like a band. Yeah, and do yeah. you think there could be a chance that you'd record with Queen in the future? I don't know. I mean, we get asked that from time to time. Um, we want it, Adam. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I never really. You know, it's one of those things where I would never say never, but um, it hasn't just it hasn't come up. And earlier this year, there were talks about the Elvis Presley movie. <laughs> Yes, they were trying to cast really young Elvis, and I'm not really, really, really young. So, uh, you know, I was hoping to, uh, you know, maybe get looked at for Elvis later years. <laughs> so maybe there'll be a sequel or something. <laughs> now, fans watching this are desperate to know more about Velvet. Is there anything else you can tease? Velvet is, um, it's a mood. Uh, it's its definitely influenced by the, the late 70s, early 80s. Um, I would think that if you're comparing it to my past work it's a bit more soulful um there's the production the sound of it is a bit more like indie kind of vibes um and thematically there's a, there's a handful of songs that are really empowering that should make you feel confident and hopefully inspire people to to be exactly who they want to be um and then there's some songs about love and connection as well celebrating it celebrating true love celebrating finding love and then there's songs that i wrote even before that that are about the search for that connection where you don't have it or you feel disconnected. So there's a little of everything. And how long did you spend working on this album? Oh man, I, I've been working on this for over four years. Wow. And, and I took my time because I really wanted to make sure I found a sound and a style that um, felt authentic and that, that was right. You know, I wanted, I wanted to carve out my own lane on this one. I wanted my own vibe. Uh, it wasn't about chasing a trend or competing with other artists. It was more about like, let me let me do me. And you've got a documentary that's going to be airing over here on the 11th of October. Yeah. What's it like to have your story told in a documentary format? Is it weird to watch? It's, it is such a compliment. Um, I felt very flattered by the things that Brian May and Roger Taylor said about me in, the, in, in there and... I think it's nice to to tell our story about how we've, you know, how we met and all the work we've done and all the amazing shows we've done. It's a nice thing to share. We're really proud of it. Over this 10-year journey that we've seen you, what's been your highlight? Uh, over 10 years of, oh, wow. It's been, it's, there's been a lot of amazing adventures. You don't have to say being in the gold studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is one. Uh, I mean, we played the Oscars this year, Queen and I. We opened the Oscars. Um, and to... To perform on the Academy Awards uh, is is such an honor. It was wild. And, and looking out in the audience and seeing all these movie stars, it was crazy. Well, thank you so much for joining me here in the Gold Studio, Adam. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. And for more exclusives just like this, visit mygoldmusic.co.uk.